Amy? Amy, I'd like to talk to you. Is this why I met you at the basement for the first time? Because you... Oh god, she's... Oh god, that imagery. But how did you land on the stairs? How did you cap on there? You have to... All the way through... Oh god. I am... Sorry what happened to you. Oh, with the eyes open and everything. <sighs> alcohol. Obviously does bad things, but... Children and alcohol. Okay. Let's talk to her. That was sufficient. Is it Amy? Amy? Yes, it's me. Yes, it's me. Oh. Oh, <laughs> sounded so different. Oh. Amy at the bottom of the stairs. That's putting it mild mildly. Very neutrally. I saw you lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to you? She jumped. She thought she could fly. Oh. I don't know where I am. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Can we help her pass over? Oh, you poor girl. It sounds so... It's such a limbo. You completed Amy's story. Does that mean that she, we allowed her to pass on? Is anyone there? Well, she's certainly not there anymore. Oh. You turn around and suddenly you just see her corpse stuck in time. I jumped, but then it all went dark and I couldn't wake up. I can't wake up anymore. Okay, let's turn this off. Guess we exit at the first floor then. Hmm. Let us go to the second floor, I guess, because there was a hint about second floor. I I don't know how much more I can take of this, but there was a hint about second floor. I I'm not using I'm not using the the stairs anymore. Jimmy was on the other side when I wanted to go out there at one point. So I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. Someone... A, a viewer in my last... Stream... When I played this game for the first time... Said that if I use the stairs, I'm more discreet. People won't hear the elevator coming and know where I am immediately and... Start sneaking towards that location, but... Oh, so many birthday balloons. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, God, it's so dark. What's with the noise? Security cameras. I don't like the thought of that. Someone here? No. Spare and compass points steadily that way. Try that when I saw it at this. I'm Dr. Bose. I'm just here to have a little chat, okay? Thank you, Jimmy. I won't be long. That's more like it. Hmm. 
Now let's see what Jimmy has to say for his defense. I guess he wants to interrogate about the incident. So Jimmy as the boy? Was he a boy at the time with the girl or was he still was he a grown up that time? Let's see here. Is anyone there? Hello, that was you from the outside moments ago. I have a new victim to speak to. Hello, my name is Maya. What is your What's name? What's your name? Dr. Birch, I'm a clinical psychiatrist. You were, I'm afraid. Clinical psychiatrist. I didn't know that was clinical. Hmm. Now in contact with Dr. Bose. Are you here? Because you heard of... Well, I'm not going to probe him about Amy. You are the man in suit knocking on the I door. I saw a man knocking on a door, telling Jimmy he was there to help. Who was it? It was me. I got a call from Rose, Jimmy's mother. She wanted me to talk to Jimmy, find out what was bothering him. But Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind and the things he was imagining. Harvey? Is that the, the father then? What about... Amy? I saw the little girl at the top of the stairs, on the banister. What was she doing? Jimmy made the girl drink too much. You are informed, that's me. About that. And she landed at the bottom of the stairs. I saw Amy lying at the bottom of the stairs. What happened to her? She fell down the stairs from the top floor. Foul. She was too drunk to know what she was doing. That, that, yes. It was the reason Rose got in touch with me. I, I assume, I assume this could have had something to do with it. Now we have it confirmed. Interesting. Now, can we probe you with something else? Well, these are the bottles. Why was there a collection of whiskey bottles? In that, one of the okay, rooms? that's probably irrelevant. They were probably from the bar. Hmm. Interesting. They were probably from the bar. There would be a bar. Jimmy wouldn't listen. Okay, that's not an option. But he kept stealing. The child's purse. Who did the child's purse belong to? Oh, okay, yeah. Irrelevant again, probably. I don't know. Yeah. What about... No, you wouldn't know about suitcases, but what about the sword? Who does the sword belong to? That's not what I wanted to ask, but... Obviously. Um, do you have something to say about turpentine and the lighter? I found a bottle of turpentine and a lighter. What were they for? You'd better ask Jimmy. <laughs> oh, the way he said that. The way he said it. You have a point, though. You have a point. I'm just probing you, but it's basically a Saturni Phoenix right at this point. Prove me about whatever we can. Um, holding a toy in the fire. I saw the little girl, Amy. Probably gonna say the same again. Fire. What happened? Her hand was burnt quite badly, but Jimmy thought it was all a joke. A joke? Well, that's maybe what he told you. So you had quite the extensive interview with Jimmy, didn't you? What about the wooden paddle? Did he punish her? Where did the wooden paddle come from? Okay, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, yeah. Wooden paddle. I don't know, but Jimmy found it. Jimmy found it somehow. Is there something more I can ask you? I saw the little girl shouting to Jimmy to give her toy back. Why did he take it? It's just the kind of thing he did. 
It's just the kind of thing that Jimmy did. You are giving me quite nice clues. You're not as much as you. the little girl was in despair. She was lonely. She was scared. She was crying, trying to fight back her tears every time I contacted her. She didn't know where she was. While Bose over here, Dr. Bose, is calm, reflected. Even if he doesn't really know the answer, he doesn't mind to push his own mind. Answer as detailedly as he can, even if he doesn't know much. I saw a girl in the basement crying. Who was she? The daughter of the hotel guest. I assume so. Yeah. Yeah. So, so only her? Only her. Okay, let's ask about the suitcases anyway. I saw some suitcases in a chest. Some suitcases. Who did they belong to? <laughs> Anyone. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I basically asked for that one. Is there something I haven't asked about? I can combine stuff as well. Um, but I think I've asked anything I can ask right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Maybe I can. S try, oh, something more I can ask about. You found a washing light and a rolling pin. What is a washing line? Is that where you hang up clothes to dry? Washing line? Okay, I'm, we're just gonna let this stay there. Is it Dr. Bose? Yes, I'm Dr. Bose. I like this guy. I like this guy. In contact with Dr. Bose, clinical psychiatrist. Now, Dr. Bose. Washing line. Why was there a washing line tied around a rolling pin? And you were in this room too. Maybe you know more about this. I tied them together. It was an experiment. Uh, what sort of experiment? What for? Washing line and a rolling pin. Uh, when you were here, got a call from Rose. She wanted me to find out what happened. I tied the washing line and rolling pin together. When you said Harvey was worried about Jimmy's mind, does that have anything to do with what you said about the washing line and rolling pin? You could elaborate a bit more, you know. A tiny bit more. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> you are becoming a bit Jimmy-ish, my friend. A little bit Jimmy issue becoming vague. What is this maybe? Uh I'm trying to find what can I combine this with? And why? Maybe with something I haven't found yet. Yeah, okay, we are losing him. Okay, we're going back. You noted the washing line. Scrying mirror. Okay, that... If Jimmy sees us, he's probably going to come up here then. But... Okay, he's already here. <laughs> okay, let's see. There's quite a bit of Jimmy there. See outside. With the bath and all. Not only was Jimmy in the vision, but he had a bat in the vision. As if he was about to struck me. Okay, let's go out.
218. Key. Stairs, floor two. Okay, yeah, Jimmy locked this, I guess. You already have a Scragner. I'm gonna assume that's not him. <laughs> Where is this? Who the? There is someone here. But it was someone with a hat or something. We're being pulled across the floor after having a mild concussion. But I was not Jimmy. Was it Jimmy? Look at someone with a hat. But why are they pulling us here? I heard it even. I heard creaking. But I assumed it was somewhere else. Look in the first floor store near the stairs for the device. Oh god. I'm not sure. Yeah. Drag me into a. Uh, basically dark room. Okay. I, we need to get. The device back. I should have just hid in the room. I thought it was from the below. Because I just vaguely heard Jimmy. Wait, we are back at the first floor. Jimmy, charge us back. It's in here, isn't it? No, it's not here. Too dark. If anyone is watching, please let me know. I need some support. Okay. That's let me go to a different room. Oh. Turn off the lights. Run for it, run for it, run for it. <laughs> he's behind me, he's behind me, he's behind me. Go. Oh, it's another. It's another dark room. I can hear him. Okay, he knows I'm here. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> Open the door and then yell hey. What's the benefits of that? Other than taunting. A quick summary. I am Maya in this game. And me and my friends were supposed to uh, camp at a festival or something of the sorts. And the weather became harsh and my friends booked a hotel in nearby and I came late. And I was looking for my friends. They apparently paid for my stay at the hotel. And it turns out that my friends are nowhere to be seen. And there's a maniac hunting me down. 
a crazy maniac who doesn't necessarily want to kill me, but he he's definitely a creepy guy who bonks me in the head every now and then and stealths around and yells at me and taunts me and lives off my hair. So the second part of the stream, I didn't play a whole lot because I, it, it's just so tense. This is also why I have some wine with me once again, because usually I don't, but for this experience, I need it. Uh, so in the second part, we managed to use some sort of radio box that contacts the spirit world, and there seems to be a young girl, a good girl ghost at the hotel who's died, and we got to hear her story and her tra tragic ending, how she died. Jimmy, who is the receptionist of the hotel, had a lot of do with it. The same guy that chases us all around. And then, after this event of the girl dying horribly, sadly, uh, some psychiatrist, I believe it was, knocks on Jimmy's door, the name of the receptionist, and uh, wants to have a chat with him. But he is also a ghost, so he was killed at one point. And we are unraveling his story right now. God, I can't believe I'm playing this again. I heard nothing. hear him. I heard steps. Very loud steps. No. Oh, that's loud. Oh, that's loud. Let's leave. Let's go. That way. Is that where I was? That is where I was. <sighs> okay, just leave. Leave. Ah! <laughs> Ooh, you. You bastard. Okay, I don't want to use a scrying mirror because some viewer told me at one point if I use it, then Jimmy knows where I am. <laughs> you frickin'! <laughs> but he just went that way! He just turned around! He hears me talking to you. Oh, holy crap. But yeah, he doesn't seem to want to kill me. He. He bonks me on the head, pulls me somewhere, places me in a room, and then plays cat and mouse. That was unexpected indeed, he's a sneaky bastard. Because I don't remember the hints from last time. Yeah, I need to get this... Uh, first... first floor? Okay, so spirit box and first floor. There, there's definitely something on the first floor. Where I am? Uh. Okay, let's go out. I need to find this damn storage. This is going to be a dead end, isn't it? Yeah, 
It's a dead end. No, no, no. Oh, oh well, okay. Okay, it's locked anyway. Wait, isn't this where my friends were? Yes, one of my friends was in here. Perhaps it's good that... Perhaps it's good that this came now. I imagine that should be a cooldown period. M maybe. I would hope so. Maybe he goes have... Has a cup of tea. Yeah, yeah, he's back now on the first floor. It's not in here. It's not in here. Totally dark. I imagine it has close to the elevators. Holy frick! Kaden! No, 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 no! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Forget what I say about cooldown, yeah. Maybe a tiny bit of a cooldown. Determined. Determined receptionist. Did he try to get into one of my friends? He tried to get into one of my friends and he said something to them, I think. Was that a step? Oh, shit! Oh, he's there. He's, I don't care. I'm, if he is there, then he's not here. He's... Okay, Frick. Frick. There, there, no! I don't care. I'm going here. I'm going here. I'm going here. And now I know. Now I know. That was most likely the storage right next to the elevator. But now let's make sure it doesn't... There's a lot of rooms. There's no reason for panic. It wouldn't randomly pick this one. It didn't see me. He knows the general direction where I went. But then again, he knows where the item is. He knows I'm after the item. He put he took the item from me. He put it in the storage. <sighs> Jesus. Did he say, I see you? A classic horror cliche would be his step behind me, somehow. I don't want to exit right now because I'm pretty sure he's directly to the right. He's just waiting. He's a cunning fella. Okay, let's... I want to hear his voice first. Determine proximity. Okay. Sounds far away enough. I could have hoped that he went the other way. Ghost and spirit, voice receiver. Is that a ghost whistle? <laughs> what are the books saying? I can't read upside down. But I like the spirit of the, uh, the, oh my mind blanks. It's a Ouija board. And ghostly lantern. It's a ghost room. question is, there's no peephole. So... I hear creaking. He must be inside. The book title reads symbols. Oh, like ghost symbols. So paranormal indeed.
This place is a curse. I can hear Jimmy with creaking on the floor, but he can most definitely hear me as well. Okay, leave. Leave. We got this. We got this. Left, it points left. Oh, it still points left. Shit, okay, I'm... That was right behind me. That was right behind me. Go, go. I, I'm pretty sure it's right behind me somewhere. Okay, here. I think it's behind me. I think it's somewhat behind me. Somewhere behind me. I don't know. I don't know. I wanted to try to... Try to... Like, this compass is hopeless sometimes. It's supposed... Like, the spiritual world is hopeless as well, I guess. It's not something you can pinpoint exactly. Spiritualness is fleeting. <laughs> Was this a dead end or not? Is he gonna come back? I don't want to speak into the voice box and him to hear me. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, he was right behind the... Oh no... He was just waiting! That bastard, he heard me coming. As I said earlier, the squeaky floor, it's not just for me to pinpoint where it is. He can hear me coming. Now I have to find that godforsaken spirit box again. <laughs> Was that Bose? Was that in front of the Bose? When I was knocked out. The first few times, I think in the first stream, I heard a girl crying a lot. Now I heard a grown man saying, please, please. Reflecting Bose, who we are now following. Now we have to get the receptor again, yeah. Okay, let's try. It's back here. I have to try to... There, there. I'm getting accustomed to... to this place. Oh, no, no, not menu. I keep clicking menu. Okay, let's... I'm gonna follow your tip, Muxus, and I'm gonna go down. Unless it's right outside now. I think it's fun. I heard him. Bad idea to wait for the lift. Oh, I shouldn't do this. I'm gonna bite my finger off if he <laughs> comes. Okay. Now. Wait. The first place where I found the spirit, the first time around, in our first stream, was in the basement. Tips said first floor, but perhaps there is something in the lower ground or basement. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try, does it? It was the first and last I saw of Amy. Hopefully Jimmy does not go into the cellar. I don't know if he does it anymore. It was hinted that he did back then. I believe, with Amy. Why is this making noise? Was it before? And the compass doesn't say too much. 
Compass is just not really doing much. Do I have to go to the ground floor to use the mirror? Because I cannot use it here. Okay, the, the phone is out. <laughs> the emergency system in the elevator is out. Okay, maybe I can use the mirror and at the ground floor. It says something about the ground floor. Because I know I can use the mirror for sure at the first floor, at the inside of any of the of the rooms. But I thought I could do so here as well. You see, the thing is, I don't really want to go back to the first floor. <laughs> I don't really want to. <laughs> but Bose seemed like a nice guy. We're doing this for Bose. Then go to second. I'm gonna use the scrying thing and then go to the second floor, okay? I don't know what I'm looking at here. I believe that is Bose, yes. Oh, Jesus Christ! That violent memory of Jimmy, or... But, but, but what did that tell us? Room 22. Ah, the hint that I got from the stream, maybe? This way. This way in that case. Can't hear anyone. Twenty-one. I'm counting on you, Emixus. I'm counting on you. <laughs> twenty-two. Or two, two, two. Yeah, maybe. Go into that room. Is there something here? Scrape book of newspaper articles. Accused psychiatrist. Sky That's Bose, isn't it? Found dead in cell. It looks like him, doesn't it? A 49-year-old clinical psychiatrist accused of sexually assaulting a boy of 13 during a... So Jimmy was a child back then. Boy of 13 during a number of house visits has been found dead in his cell at Eton Police Station. Dr. Krishna Dayananda had been arrested. Okay, now that's not the same one. And I suppose it was a different name, or a more easy name, Elias. Had been arrested in the early hours of yesterday morning and held for several hours while police attempted to investigate a fresh claim by the boy's family. An investigation into his death is underway. That's a very harsh claim if this is post, because the mother of Jimmy... Yeah, he's here now. <laughs> the mother of Jimmy whose voice we just heard, was the one who called Bosun, wasn't it? Wasn't it? I believe it was. Last stream. An investigation into his death is underway. His lawyer, Sir, Sir Giles Smithcraft QC, said that the allegations, allegations against Mr. Dover were clearly false, but that Mr. Dover have been suffering from depression during the investigation and that this last and then just cut out. Head admits to violent abuse at private school. It's hard for me to read read that. Nothing there. Jimmy far away, laughing. Okay, that's okay, so this one? Deadlock key. Deadlock key? I'm not used to that concept. Is that being able to lock 
lock the lock, <laughs> basically. One, did it say one twenty-two? Was it one twenty-two? Do I have to go back down? It said one twenty-two, didn't it? Okay, let's listen. I'm gonna try one twenty-two first. I I think it said one twenty-two. Oh. Okay, let's, let's check in here while we're here. Anyway, might as well, you know? Perfect. At the perfect dead end. I, I am far, far away. The question is, will he be far away for a while or will he be nearing this location? Fuck, 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 go, 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 go. That was the elevator. Not very smart, I will see. I don't know, but I'm going for it. I'm going. For it. Oh, no, no, no. This way, this way. Go, go, go. 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 Left. Go. Go. He's probably after me. He's probably after me. Go. I'm probably not smart either. Look at what I'm doing. I'm calling the Bing elevator. <laughs> Just imagine him running behind me. Okay, 122. One twenty two is our little squire's hint. Wait, this door's open. One nineteen. One twenty. No, 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 no. I was doing so good. One twenty. One nineteen. If this is one twenty, then what? What? How can this? <laughs> one fifteen. One. No, 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 no. I'm so bad at navigating. I was supposed to click, go out. I had such a head start on Jimmy. I had such a head start. One thirteen. No, no, no. Where's twenty two? This is twenty. Must be down here then. That doesn't make sense. Eighteen. Okay, it has to be another wing. It has to be. Seventeen. Sixteen. No, it doesn't make sense. It's supposed to be this wing. Further up here then. 
Put it up here. 21! Yes! 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 Well, it's, it's, it should, it was directly below 22 upstairs. It's the same layout, so... <sighs> I'm pathetic, I know, I'm sorry. Already have a sparring mirror. But thank you for the spare. Ooh! Jimmy Hall. You got some awards. Is that for your acting? The acting which we couldn't... which we... We're too tired to watch, according to Maya, in the opening scene. Childish about and drawing. Amy? And I... Patches, I think? No, this has to just be... Oh uh, yeah, this is probably Jimmy. Jimmy, I was like, it could this have been Maya drawing? All the things that Jimmy did to himself, but like, no, this is just Jimmy's imagination, it has to be. From back then. J-N, or J-H, J-H, X, yeah. And, a, and there's his trusty bat. If I was him, I would wait in the elevator. Don't give him any hints, please. I was every... You say you are pathetic, but when you hear him right outside, you still have the balls to keep standing in the middle of the room. I would jump into a closet in this instant. I was thinking about it. My amnesia, the Dr. Central vibes were jumping up, but I uh, more froze up, to be honest. I was thinking, you know how creaky the floor is on the outside. If I move in here, that's confirmation for him that I might have been here, so I just froze up. I was listening closely to any interaction with the door. You scrying mirror. Look for numbers. No numbers. Who? That is the drawing. That's a drawing I saw, isn't it? That's a drawing in this very room. Two. It said two. It said second floor. But I know for a fact that it wasn't on the second floor. 